So I've been wanting to make this video for some time now. I think in this age of YouTube and the amount of guitar-related media that's available to us now, I think sometimes we get into a mindset where there are just some questions that are maybe too obvious or stupid to ask because the answer should be so readily available. But I kind of feel like I want to tackle one of these questions. Now here's the reason why. I'm relatively young, but I remember learning guitar without YouTube. And I didn't have access to the amount of information that's available now. I had probably one issue of Guitar Player magazine, and I read it over and over and over again. But at the time I was coming up, this question would not have been obvious to me. And I think it's kind of fun to address a question like this in a video, even if it's been covered other places before. What's the question? What impact does the amp cabinet have on your tone? How are we going to test this question? Well, to do it, we're going to use Universal Audio's Oxbox. Now wait, before you hit that thumbs down button and leave this video, let me explain very briefly. Yes, I know we're going to answer this question about speaker cabinets without using a physical speaker cabinet. But that's okay. The Oxbox has solid speaker modeling, and it conveniently allows me to switch, in this case, between seven different speaker configurations. And I have to be honest, it is excellent to use when filming inside of a New York City apartment. But I promise the point will still be made and the question answered in this video. I'm gonna stop talking as soon as the tone tests start, but let me show you the setup for the recording in this video. We're playing a Strat style parts caster through the looper of a Line 6 Helix. Then for an amplifier, we're going into a 65 Princeton Reverb reissue, then into the aux. Here are the settings on that Princeton if you're curious. Now once we're in the aux, of course we're using it for our speaker modeling, you have the option of blending your selected microphone. So we're blending a 57 and a 121. And then we're balancing the room mics for a little bit of ambience. And when you see the screenshot of the Aux software, you'll notice that we don't have any other EQ or processing being done in the Aux. From there, we go to the interface, and there's no EQ or other processing thereafter. I've just raised the level of the clips, but that's it. So I'm going to show you five different licks, and each clip is going to be looped through seven different speaker cabinets. And you'll notice that the speaker cabinet is the only setting that's going to change between each of these tests. And that should give us a pretty good indication of what kind of differences we hear depending on the modeled cabinet. So take a listen. Let me know what your favorite cabinet is in the comments section down below. It might even change depending on the lick that's being played.
All right, I'm really curious to hear what you noticed. I think depending on the cabinet, you can tell that certain frequencies are either emphasized or maybe we could say muffled or reduced, depending on the speaker. Uh, I'm again curious to hear what your favorite is or what else you noticed in those tone tests. So I'm thinking about doing a few more videos in this similar vein. Uh, I think there are other questions that quote, might be obvious that we could still answer and have fun answering using this same setup. If you have any ideas, let me know down below in the comments. Also, if there's anything that you think I could have improved on in this test or setup, let me know down below as well. I always appreciate uh, the feedback that I get from you guys and I also get good ideas from those comments as well. Thanks a lot, as always, for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos just like this. You can also sign up for my email list. The link is down below. You get 10% off your first order on my website. Thanks again, and I will see you in the next one.